What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we got a photo by another anomaly hunter. Her name is Sarah Runcy, and it is from, I believe it's Solve 1419, and it's in a gigapan, which I know a lot of you guys like. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see it right here. It is Neville Thompson's uh, gigapan, which he does a great job. Thank you again, Nev, for your work. Um, again, this one's so interesting. If you haven't looked over this particular pan, you got to. There's so much to see in here. Absolutely insane. Um, I don't know if you guys even remember this one here. This is this piece right here. Now, a lot of people have seen this. Now, before I've seen this particular object way off in the distance. It was like a black and white photo. Not a whole lot to see. But this one here is pretty interesting. Now, I think it's been covered up from what it really is. But some people claim they can see what looks like writing. And they may be right. If you look in the lower right tip of this thing, check it out right here. Almost looks like something you'd see in the Egyptian, you know, pyramids or something like that. These weird, like almost like a hieroglyph type thing or writings. Now, I'm not, I don't really see any writing on here as far as the rest of this. Um, I think it's actually been blocked, uh, meaning this is entirely something else. Uh, you can see like this little tip of white. Sometimes they forget to go over and color over these things, at least all the way. And you end up with a piece sticking out that's like a different color from all the rest of it. Now, is this the actual item? Could very well be. But there's so much in here to see, guys. Oh, my God. Um, you know, you get the link as always, but there's so much here to see in this thing. It's, it's insane. All right. So let me show you way back in the distance, too. And just more manipulation and stuff like that, which we already know that they do this. Now, it almost looks like some kind of weird boat shape because you can see this right here with what looks like a dark square and almost like real faint, but there's another object right there, right? Check out this right here. Put that in the middle of the screen right there. What is that? What I found interesting is, guys, we always talk about how maybe they built into, you know, maybe sides of cliffs, maybe into mountains and everything else. Now, let's suppose this whole area right here, this mountain or what a half a mountain, whatever it may be, that they build inside, it almost looks like it was hit by something or it caved in. See that? Now, I'm not saying that's what, what happened here, but it kind of has that weird look to it, right? Uh, look at this right here in the front. This is another thing. What is this mess? Now, guys, it is, again, I've been saying this, it's digital information that's been overlaid the original photo. Some people will disagree. Some people that are anomaly hunters will say, well, I'm not quite seeing it that way. But it is. And like I said, I'm going to get to that other uh, project I was telling you guys about, about where they, these two gentlemen talk about what's really going on with these rovers and these actual photos. So that's soon to come. What is this going from this all the way to over to here? Look at this. Looks like it has supports too. See that? It goes like this. Very thin line right there. Keeps going across. Looks like there's something right there in the middle. Something right there has a support. What the heck could that possibly be? Just notice this. Almost looks like some kind of stone disc or something. What these squares in it. See that? Look at the shape of this thing right on it. Almost looks like right here. This actually goes past this, too. You can see the lines. What's missing in here is a lot of the darker lines, and that's what people are not seeing. That's what's holding everybody back from actually seeing the real deal. All right, let me back right up. Let's get to what we were talking about here. And there's a lot of good detail in this. We're going to go to right here in this pan. Before I show you that, let me show you what Sarah has found right here. Now, this to me is interesting. Now, you can see in the lower right corner, it does, you know, uh, it does say that uh, it's MSL 1419, and it's by Neville Thompson. Um, but check this thing out. And you can see February 5th, it's only been a couple days ago. But anyway, all she did was brighten up a little bit and maybe only done a little bit of enhancing, but not a whole lot difference, guys. Look at that. What the heck is that? If it's not some kind of creature, they were saying it's some kind of boar. Um, is it something mechanical? Whatever that thing is, uh, it's just, it's bizarre, right? So right off the bat, like I said, I see this photo and I go, wow, if that's this type of weird thing in this photo, there's got to be more. And there is. Just look at this. It looks like a junkyard just laying it. Without doing a thing to it, it looks like a junkyard. All right, let's get back into this. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you guys into Photoshop and show you this thing because it's, it's really neat. Okay, so we're going to go over to right here and you can see here we are and just to give you guys a better perspective let's zoom way out and you can see it right there 
Guys, first of all, these are not, I've been saying these, these are not buttes. And, and the reason why I say that, look at the way these things are lined up. Look at one. And they always have that weird slant to them. See that? One in the back. There's one behind it. Two, three, four, five, six. What's the chance of all kinds of buttes just happen to be sitting on the side of each other? Now, I'm not saying it can't happen because this is an entirely different planet, but it was a lot like Earth. And there's not a whole lot of places you're going to see a whole bunch of dunes or these buttes just sitting right next to each other. Almost looks like, and I said this be before, like an analogy is like a used car lot. They're on the side of each other, all like just sitting right next to each other. All just happen to have that weird slope. Come on. These are supposed to be buttes. What are these? No. Um, and I still believe that these are not buttes. There's something much more to them. All right. Again, get back into this. And here you are. Now, guys, I found a lot of interesting things here. I'm not sure how far off these other objects are back here, but it almost has, like, looks like a path going up there. See, this right here in the, right there, going to the back of this. I'm going to put it right there in the middle of the screen. Some kind of weird, is it a structure? Is it part of the mountain? But it almost looks like there's a pathway going to it, okay? But here's that little, what looks like some kind of weird creature type thing. Almost looks like you'd see something like you can put a saddle on this thing and ride it. It's what it reminds me of this thing in the back. Not sure what this thing really is. For all we know, it's something mechanical, but it does have that uncanny look like some kind of weird creature. And at this point, that's what we're going to keep calling it. Okay, so let me show you this thing. Let's take you down into Photoshop. We blew it up a little bit for you guys. That's what it looked like. Okay, now what I did was I did a couple of things. I'll try to let the Photoshop see if we could do auto color contrast and all that other good stuff. This is what it looks like. And when I did it manually, this is what it looks like. A little brighter. You see, that? not a whole lot of difference. Maybe slightly different in color. But basically, that's it right there, right? Okay. First thing I noticed was there's a lot of lines being taken out of this photo. I'll show you right here. Right over here. It's void without any kind of lines or any kind of detail. Why is that so? What? I found a couple interesting things too, guys. We've been saying this all along. It's like they live underground, and it has these buttes or structures actually have like a protective covering. And it looks like this stuff can be ripped up, and it's exposing things that are underneath it. Here's a perfect example. I was looking at this, and I'm saying, well, that's pretty interesting. Look at this object right here. Almost looks like some kind of little disc-type object right there. And you can see it. Because it's in completely round, but you get the idea. Something right dead set in the middle. And we have these, what looks like two darker details right there. I'm sure you guys can see that. See that? Not sure what to make of that, but that's interesting. And again, it looks like the ground is torn up, and this is what we're seeing. Now, here's another interesting thing. What is with this? I find this pretty cool. It looks like some kind of weird wall. Coming down like this, coming down. Looks like it actually may go in a little bit. I'm not sure right there. And then go right over this way. That's pretty cool in itself, guys. And you can see just a little bit of white right here. It looks like they, like I said, they try to doctrine us all up so you cannot see this. What about this? This object right here, look at the way it looks like, looks like almost like one of these carports you can buy. Right now, there is a backside to this thing, but the lines have been taken out of it. There is more to that than, than what we're seeing. All right, let me back it a little bit and start to enhance this so we can start to bring this stuff out. And when you do, you start seeing these really weird little things in here, like here. Notice the shape of this, and you'll see there's a hair bit better. Go like that. We have a shape of this going down, and then we have this darker slot type thing or design like that. But take note of the back of this thing. It also has something that does this. Has something very faint right here. Looks like some kind of hole in it. Now, let me jump onto that thing and just go back down, and you guys can have a look at it. And guys, pause this anyway. You guys know that, right? Pause it any way you want. Have a better look. 
And like I said, objects that look like it's been torn up. Here's a perfect example right here. It almost looks like the ground has been completely opened up somehow. Like this. And you're seeing, again, we've seen this multiple times where it looks like a piece of steel or frame, and it has darker holes in it. Time and time again, I've seen this. And it looks like either this is manipulation to try to cover most of it, or it's the ground itself opening up. Okay, let's get into this a little bit more. This is what I find interesting, too. Check this out, this area right here. Why does it look like there's some kind of 90-degree angle or some kind of doorway of some sort inside this area here? Notice this piece here, almost like this L-shaped piece, right? See that? This design here, I'm not sure what to make of that. You know, it's interesting every now and then I'll get somebody who say, oh, man, you know, it's just rocks, man. What are you so why are you so obsessed with rocks? It's not the rocks that I'm obsessed with. This is what's funny. If you were to look at most of the stuff I was to tell you, oh, by the way, these are ancient ruins and they're on Earth. Most people would accept that. Wouldn't think twice when you show it and say it's on my oh, that's a bunch of crap. That's that's not true. That's that's bull. Why? Why is it so hard for people to accept that? Pretty interesting. Let's keep going with this. I'm going to get into this more and more. Try to bring out any lines in here. Okay. Now, again, we have what looks like this, this piece going up here. Almost like it's going up to this object. I'm not sure what that is. If it's another stone structure or whatever that is. Let's brighten it up a little bit. What do you guys think that is? I mean, it's just bizarre. It almost looks like it has an eye here. An eye here. The mouth or the, the, the snout or whatever that may be looks like there's something mechanical on its back. Or is this thing another mess of parts? Because when I looked at this again, we'll do this. This object right here almost looks like a pipe sticking out. You see that? That's, that's weird. Now, whatever this thing is, it's not natural. I mean, it's just clearly not natural. Um, we've got this right here in the foreground. Something looks like it's ripped up, and you can see inside this. Now, whatever the hell that is inside, I don't know. Something's laying on the ground right here. Looks to be mechanical. Not sure what to make of that. We've got this part here that looks like it's opened up. And you can see what looks like weird little parts and stuff inside here. Something right here. Like little bitty pieces or whatever the hell these things are. What is that? We've got this. I don't even know what this piece is either. Right here. See that? And yes, have you guys seen it yet? <laughs> I was just right next to it. A lot of you guys will say the same thing. I seen this and it looked like some kind of head might be a head of a statue or whatever. It's like laying down and looking straight up to the sky. See this right here? Got the hair right here. The eye might be the nose right here, mouth, and that's it. That's all we have. Is it possible it's some kind of weird statue? I don't know. But interesting nonetheless, right? You know, like I said, every time I turn around, I see something that looks like the ground has been opened up, like completely just been ripped or something. This area is no different. Right. Let me just move it in. My bad. Right here. Again, it looks like it's like like all jagged, maybe buckled up, whatever it is. And you've got these areas inside that looks like some kind of steel or some kind of framing. See that? Going like that. Going up. And of course, you can see two little darker circles, whatever those are, right there. Here's that other object I pointed out earlier. Looked like some kind of weird carport type thing. Because when you didn't see that, but you know, if you looked at her here, all you seen was that. But you don't see the line. It's very, very faint. It's right there. Well, it's actually multiple lines. But anyway, you get the idea. 
and you've got this piece doing this. Now, is it possible, guys, that this stuff is actually like just made to be openings like that and, you know, whatever, for whatever reason? I don't think so. It looks chaotic. It looks like something came apart. That's what it looks like. We've got this piece right here, almost like this, like an opening or a pipe just sitting there, almost as plain as day, right there, sticking out of the ground. All you see is the black hole of it or the inside of it and kind of like almost does a flange thing right here. But it's just barely sticking out of the surface. You see that? And you can see how much you cannot see it that way. But when you go through this and, and when you get the shadows and everything to pop and all the lines, that's when it becomes evident. There's other things on this planet that is not natural. Down here, it looks like a bunch of parts laying around. Right down here. Again, with that disc piece right there. Not sure what that is right here. You can see the lines on that. But again, it looks like the, right here, it looks like the ground has been ripped up and folded and whatever else. But I, I don't know. I can't make heads or tails out of it. What the hell this thing, what this planet is really, really like. We assume that they live like us. But that doesn't mean that they do. And guys, it, it might be a really creepy planet to actually show this stuff. And maybe this is the reason why they don't want to show the public. Who knows? For whatever reason, kind of like what we talked about on the moon, where it's like, you know, would we be able to wrap our minds around the things that they found in the moon or what we found in the moon in these photos? Would we be able to grasp that? I don't know. I mean, just just look at the astronauts when they came back, what they look like, the Apollo 11. Wow. Uh, they didn't exactly look like they were just normal. They, they really seen something up there that really, really, wow, just changed who they are. Let's put it that way. We have other things right next to that other piece, too. It almost looks like steps here. See this? There. Right there. Almost looks like steps. And, again, things are, like, hidden. You can't quite see it. They, they literally did their best to try to block this stuff out. I think this is cool, I mean, when you think about it, because it's like, how did they live that was different than us? And to, to see the stuff, uh, you know, it just it's mind-boggling. There's another thing. I don't know if I can find it. But let me see if I can't find this thing. It almost looks like there was like some hieroglyphs on a stone. Let me see if I can't find this for you guys. This was interesting. Okay, it's right here. You guys can see that. Almost looks like there's drawings or hieroglyphs or some kind of etching in the stone. Did you guys see that? Check that out. And look at this. Almost looks like there's a... If there was a person right there, there would be an arm... Two legs. I mean, whatever this thing is, it's symmetrical. See that? This one goes off to the left. This one goes off to the right. And it's pretty much hidden. But look at this stuff right here. What is that? Plenty to see here, guys. You guys will get the link to this uh, this panorama. All right, guys. What are we seeing here? Um, it's just crazy, crazy stuff. A big thank you to Sarah for uh, having this posted up on Facebook. Uh, really, really, I think it's one of her best finds, to be truthful with you. Uh, really, really good job on that. So kudos to her. Again, that's her find, not mine. And uh, But anyway, guys, what are we seeing as far as the rest of it as well? Throw your comments and thoughts below. Please like and share the video. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. And, uh, you know, got plenty of other ones coming up. And, and I've got so many of these, but I've been busy here in the middle part of the week. So it's really been driving me crazy because I'm trying to get these out. But I've got at least three more gigapans and photos of just crazy stuff so stay tuned for that um anyway guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so and hit that little notification bell on the right hand side of it so you'll be notified of any new videos coming up and don't forget guys every friday evening 5 p.m eastern time we have our weekend hangout so join us there you can throw your comments great community you guys can join in i think you guys will like it if you haven't been on it i think you'll enjoy it anyway guys thanks for watching always appreciated and i'll see you in the next one